Hey y'all, this is this was Glacier. We're gonna be chapter 41. Um, Dylan Ren. Let's go. I wasn't capable of denying her, not when she looked at me with those round eyes and loose breathing moments, and when my lips trailed the curvature of her throat. My willpower, but all but shattered as she whispered my name. Unbuttoning my pants, they, they fell to the floor, tossed half heartedly to the side. As we done with any feeling that wasn't pure desperation for one another, I couldn't decide what tasted sweeter. Her still, her small moans. I was hesitating every time. I struck my fingers against her or her goddamn soft skin. Her she's back arc of the bed and her underwear fell to the floor, with the rest of the clothes we discarded. Josie was glorious, naked in front of me, and I paused for a moment too long ago so I could look at her. To memorize her, to burn the image of her in, into the backs of my eyelids. Fuck, I'm her. Unable to keep the awe out of my voice. You're so, you are too. My hands went to my shoulders, trembling slightly, and a part of me wondered where her nerves were coming from. Josie had no leg experience, but when she struck her hands along my bicep, she looked nervously back up at me, blonde hair falling to fan out on the pillow. What a we, what a weird bad, she whispered into the, the charged air. I wonder if it was the first time Josie Chapman thought she might be bad at something. What if we spent too long being friends that the physical stuff that doesn't work right? I breathed out a laugh. Not possible, Fish. You and I are the only thing that works. But we don't have to do this now. Just say the word. She smiled a glint in her eye. Her hand dropped from from her arms to stroke the front of my box. As fuck. It was like it's working so far. We laughed against each other's mouth. And I kissed her smile. Her arms wrapped around my neck. Fist a handful of my hair so she could deepen the kiss. I broke free of her lips to explore the rest of her body with my tongue. Trading hot open mouth kisses along her throat and down to each breast. My tongue and thumb flick against each, but in turn as she grasped at the top of my hair, arcing into my touch. My kisses travel lower and Josie started to to scream, to squirm, her hand going to my hair, to the sheets, to her face. She couldn't seem to make up her mind. Perhaps she was distracted. My teeth grazed her hip, smoothing each spot with my tongue before dipping my head lower. I left the back of her thighs and settled her ankles over my shoulders. Then I looked at her for a moment. Too long because fuck. It was all I seemed capable of thinking. It is first, I said, Donovan. Whatever she was going to say was killed by the gas that left her lips when I flattened my tongue against her. Josie's hand fluttered to my hair as I feasted on her, licking and sucking, loving the way her body re reacted to my tongue. I positioned one finger at her entrance. Lazily licking circles on, on her. Josie's hands tightened in my hair as my finger entered her. Fuck, Donovan. She breathed. She breathed. Every part of my body throbbed at the sound of my name coming from her mouth like that. My head rose from the from her center to give her a cheeky smirk. Yeah, kind of the point, fish. Josie had a good sense to roll her eyes and push my head back down. I obliged her. My tongue and fingers explored her nut thing where she moaned and when she tightened her grip to my hair. Soon, the sound she was making became less control, more frequent, and in fact, if I came from just those sounds, I was going to be so pissed. Her muscles tightened around my fingers and I felt her shudder against my tongue. Josie unraveled beneath me with a string of half-breath 
words, most of which sounded like my name. I kissed the inside of her ankle, her skin, the apex of her thighs. She was still trying to master her breathing as I worshipped her skin. Kissing and memorizing every smooth inch. Smooth inch. No part of me wanted to think about why I felt so, so desperate to memorize the constellation of freckles on her belly or the shape of the small scar on her shoulder. No part of me wanted to think about what it would be like to no longer breathe the air she consumed. Her hand tugged on my hair, pulling me, me up to her mouth for a, a kiss that burned when she pulled away. Tortoise shell, I amused, stroking my thumb along her cheekbone. Interesting. I felt the knowledge of that into the part of my brain reserved for Josie Trudman. Before, she kissed me again and made me lose all train of rational thought. Good news, she said with a little smile. Turns out the physical thing works just fine. I chuckled. Oh, only fine, huh? You sure know how to bruise immense eagle fish. She bit her lip trying to contain a pleased smile. I heard the pleasure in the sounds she made and felt the way she shuddered under my touch. Not even her teasing could make me sound could make me second guess that. Maybe you need to try again. Her eyes sparkled and I grinned. She handed me a condom for her, her bedside table and I sat alone. I like a Goody, Orby. Do you want me to say no? I don't want you to lie, I teased. Her fingers went to the waistband of my boxes, tugging at them. I discarded them to the floor. The air was thick again with that same electricity in my heart pounded loudly in my chest as our mouths devoured each other. She pulled back for a moment and opened her mouth ready to tease me again. If the look in her eye were any indication. Her words were cut off by a surprised groan as I slid into her. My eyes screeched shut. It couldn't be possible to, to love someone or something this much, could it? Because God, I thought that I love her love. I thought I love her smile. I thought I love falling asleep next to her. But teasing her, hearing the sound she made when I sank into her, incomparable. I faced nozzle into the crook of her neck, inhaling the intoxicating scent of her skin. The judge's hands closed at my back as we moved, as we sank deeper into a place that neither of us could return from. But I know for years that there would be no return. I just didn't care. Every move I made, every sound that left her lips bruised inside, bruised itself inside my skin like a tattoo on my veins. His tattoos would remain long and if remain long after I left Jersey's bedroom, long after I arrived in Texas, they would remain imprinted in my soul until she replaced them with, with new ones. Then she she whispered my name in my ear like a like a plea like a prayer. Lord, I wrapped her leg around my waist, clasping our hands together as I obliged. Her finding a brutal rhythm that made my eyes squeeze shut. Both of us shuddered at the sensation. Teresha eyes watched me, filled with the same desperate lo longing that ripped through me. Our mouth met, forcing Josie to, to take me deeper, and I swallowed her little gasp. Fuck. She was devastating, claustrophobic. My life had blown up earlier this year, and yet I still had more control out there than I had in his bedroom. With the way Josie was looking at me, it was a wonder I still had any capacity for that. Although, I positioned the depth, her hands scratching my back and, and did the noises, everything. She was doing, took whatever control I entered with. The noise she she made grew in length and volume, so I continued even though all of the nerves in my body wanted to be released. I wanted to enter her, her whole body tightening around me before giving in, before the feeling ink itself over every inch of ink itself over every inch of my veins. Vaguely, I was aware that I had raw off her raw off of her 
that she had pressed her lips to my shoulder, leaving her ink there too. I feel it. The pyramid Mark Josie Chadman had left me. Had left on me. There goes that fucking line. I guess I love you. She whispered into the space between us. Thank you. I turned my head and the pillar to catch her eyes with mine and give her a lazy smile. Nobody have ever thanked me for sex before, I mused. I must have whatever comment I was about to make was cut off by a slap of my ribs. And don't ruin the moment, asshole. My arms wrapped around my girlfriend's tightening and pulling her close to me. As close as I could. Pretty soon I would have to remember what waited did for me outside this bedroom. Pretty soon, but not yet. Mary Mia breathed. What? Because she shut up, holding herself up on my chest and staring at me with wide eyes. She got at her reaction. I don't mean right this very second. Fred, just marry me. She let out a relieved laugh, assuming I was joking for some reason. I cocked my head, heading. I cocked my head, waiting for her response. When she realized I was waiting for an answer, she gave at me her cute little mouth falling open. Are you insane? You're moving in a few days across the country. Family is. I'm going to God knows where for school next year. We only been dating for a few weeks. We only fuck once. One time that I went. Once. We can do it again if that. That's not the point just now. Smacking my chest again. The point is all of those things that I just said. None of them were no. I pointed out. Uh, Josie laughed. I wanted her mouth to say something like Say something likely lead to continue her this on why my offer was ridiculous and impossible. In some other words, she would make up because she couldn't do anything without planning it out weeks in advance. But it was their proof that plans were bullshit. Life did what it wanted when I wanted, so I may as well do the same fucking thing. Marry me. I said again, lifting my hand. To cup her, her cheek. A small hysterical laugh left, left her lips. Not even an hour ago, you weren't sure if you were going to break up with me. And now you're proposing? Well, I'm trying to, but you keep not answering. We're naked, darling. You really want to propose to me while we're naked? I struck twisting a piece of her hair around my index finger. Be, be grateful. I don't hire a photographer to capture the moment. Josie shook her head, smiling despite herself. The panic had mostly left her expression, but there was still a weariness in her eyes, as though she expected me to take it back. To say that I was joking. What is, how am I supposed to take this? She asked. You're still living and everything we said before is true. I shifted to sit up in my bed. Sit up in the bed with her, my fingers brushing through her mused hair and over her soft skin. Yeah, it is. Yes, tell me that you will marry me, I pleaded. Forget the last 10 years, to forget the next 10 years. Just tell me that you give me the rest of our life, even if you had to add a someday to it. I want and need to know that there was a moment where you and I both believed that we naked. Her eyes water at my word. Uh, at what I needed did her to say. At the words I couldn't say. <laughs> she already listed all the reasons why we were why we wouldn't make it when she was calling me crazy. She was right of course. Josie Chadman was always right. There was an outside world with different rules and whether I like it or not, I had to play by them. Someday, she promised, we'll make it back to it each other and I answer I swear to marry you then then she held her pinky out like we used to do when we were children and we seal our promise happy sad both thanks for reading stay safe and be kind my friends thanks for watching subscribe and you as I guess my video and come on guys take care